All right, we're going to use this old truck here, and uh, we're going to do vehicle extractions out of the out of the truck. From the decoy's perspective, a vehicle extraction sounds like a completely simple thing, but you also you still need to be paying attention to the same skills that that we've been developing. The dog needs to fight you actively in the in this, and so we're going to open the door. The first thing is the dog will see you go to the door because this will make this you know short and sweet. You're going to see you go to the door. You're going to get in, and uh, sit in the, in the driver's seat. The dog's going to come out and bite you somewhere. I don't know where. It's going to bite you somewhere. You're going to keep make sure your hands are up out of the way so that it's not on your hands. Uh, the dog will come in and bite. And what I want is you're not moving out of that truck until the dog begins to pull you out of the truck or, or shake his head or some type of a counter. That will cause you to move. Each time that that happens, you're going to move. And you, all right, if the dog does do a guard and bark, um, the decoy will have to move to get the dog to engage, or the handler has to override. I don't care how you want to do it. If the dog starts to, you can do whatever you want. All right, but normally, most of these dogs are going to go in and bite. When they come up and they bite, I, what I want people doing is I don't want you moving until after the bite. One of the hardest things to get a dog to understand is to bite a, a passive person when you have decoys who are never, ever, ever passive. All right? So you're going to be perfectly still. When the dog comes up and bites and begins to counter, that's going to be what makes you start to move. 